Tonight we are in St. Petersburg, Florida. Behind us is Tropicana Field. We're gonna go see the Rays play some baseball and they're playing the Cardinals tonight. So super excited for that. Let's go check it out. We prepaid for parking in lot two, which is where we're currently waiting at. And once we get out, I'll show you how close that is to Tropicana Field. Super fast here. This is lot two and you can prepay for your parking tickets, which they recommend um, prior to coming. So we're parked in parking lot two and that's how close we are to Tropicana Field. A couple things, one, once you buy your tickets and stuff, you have to download the ballpark app because that has your tickets, your parking ticket, all of that stuff because they actually don't accept printed out tickets or screenshots. Number two, huge Cardinal fan, grew up my whole life loving the Cardinals. We're from Missouri. However, I've also, I'm from Missouri. I like the Cardinals. She's not from Missouri, so different feelings there. However, one thing I'm kind of upset about is I looked at the lineups and I don't think Pujols is playing tonight. One of the reasons I wanted to come is to watch him before he finally retires. My favorite player is Molina. Looks like he's not playing tonight either. Never so you never know. However, kind of looking like I'm striking out on both of those. But one positive thing is, sorry, we're crossing traffic here. One positive thing is my entire, my entire childhood, whenever I played an MLB game on PlayStation, I always played at Tropicana Field because I love how it's indoor. It's been a dream of mine to watch a game at Tropicana Field. I'm super excited for that. It was very confusing to find parking lot two. In fact, she had to put on her phone. How do we get? Yeah, how do we get the parking lot two? Just type it in your Google Maps. Parking lot two, Tropicana okay. Field, and it did bring it up. So, so that's very smart. That's probably a helpful tip that we didn't know about at first. Um, so definitely do that. As far as this video goes gonna try to do a tour of the stadium kind of show where everything's at as well as show the game see if we can see maybe pool holes or whatever maybe catch catch a foul ball I don't know but at least get everybody an idea of if you're going to a game this is how this is how you do it here's some rules no bags larger than 16 by 8 no backpacks or coolers looks like we're gonna go through the metal detectors right here at gate 5 after the metal detector, they do your tickets. Over here is maybe, what do we got? Ooh, that's a good call. Let's head in and see what it looks like. All right, we're in section 121. So odd sections this way, we're in section 121. Right away, we're greeted with a 50-50 raffle. And most, in that ballpark app, you can order food. So we will get something to eat tonight. I'm not sure where. Uh, we might do a mobile order or we might just walk up and grab something. But for now, we're going to do a walk and film of what's all down here. Looks like there's restrooms here as well. Oh, they've got the little Tampa Bay Rays helmets that you can get popcorn and stuff in. Here's like the big food court. Holy smokes. That's insane. Okay, we're in section 121, so keep going this way. You can see it's pretty crowded. <laughs> and uh, more restrooms. 121 through here. National Anthem. So they just did the National Anthem, and this is what the stadium looks like. Look at that. We're down here at X. He, okay, he said we're 12 rows down, so we're at X seats 1 and 2, and you can see there's AA, there's Z, there's Y. So this is where we're at. We're at seat 1 and 2, and this is our view. All right. Look at this stadium, though. This is amazing. Everything I thought it would be. So the current price of the tickets we have, it was $60 plus all their fees. Um, I think total after everything was around 140 ish dollars, not including parking. Um, but it gets you in this bottom row on down past the netting. So, like on down that way, tickets were like $45 a ticket. So, just so you can kind of see what that looks like. 
and then on down there they were like 80 to 90 and then over here they were very expensive here's a look at the crowd level as well up top there's like no one but really not too bad as far as the temp goes in here you're usually cold all the time and you just said it feels really good yeah it's comfortable it's good temperature i love how the lights are changing colors Oh look, he's throwing balls out. Sick. Nice catch. Maybe we can catch one here. Nice catch, nice catch. So these seats right now are awesome. <laughs> You're getting balls thrown out in the stands. I love their little orange with, with the straw through it. Getting ready for the first pitch. Let's play ball. This is your first major league baseball game. You've been to minor leagues, first major. Last time I went to a baseball game, Cardinals were in the playoffs. They lost. It was a while back though, several years. And it was at Bush Stadium. If I'm being honest though, I have followed the Cardinals for a long time. So I would, yeah, my whole life basically. So if I had to choose, I'd be rooting for the Cardinals. But like I said, that being in this stadium, dream come true. All right, they got the three out. So now it's the race turn to bat. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of room with the seats. And it helps not having anybody next to us right now, but plenty of leg room. I'll put on the screen a screen recording of what it's like going to the ballpark app and finding the different restaurants that you can um, mobile order food on. I'll go kind of quick though because there's a lot of options and it seems like they have them at every little like section. So. like it's gonna be yep there's the last out so at the end of the first three nothing i think now we're gonna head into back out and look for some food while it's the switch of the inning we're gonna head back over here to like the it's like the food area you can see they have a mobile ordering right there for all of these or you can go up and pay i like how there's third base food hall how it's like a food court because it's much more spread out than Amelie Arena where the lightning play. That one's kind of just hope you find a short line. So this is pretty cool. So if you're going to a baseball game, you have to get a hot dog. So we're going to get a hot dog and a corn dog and then a drink to go with it. It's kind of nice too because they have all these TVs so you can see what's going on. We have corn dog and Nathan's hot dog. No, Thank you. So you can see you touch the screen. We've got... Oh, they have a gluten-free option there. So then you add it and you can pay it all on this screen. After you're done, you hand the receipt off to one of the employees and then they get your food ready for you. Total, I think was $32, but 14 of that was this souvenir refillable cup, which is down here at the refresh station. And we figured since it's, on, oh, did they get it? They got a hit. Since it's only uh, the second inning, probably gonna want a refill. So, are they? I think they're free with the refillable, right? Refills? Yeah. Cool. That's worth it then. Gotcha. Considering a drink's like six bucks by itself, that's awesome. And here's what the food looks like. I will say I'm very impressed with their food court. What about you? It's convenient, not very crowded. Very, very impressed with that. Prices, well, they're ballpark prices. All right, made it back down to our seats. Let's see what happens here. 
just got the third out. That's what the corn dog looks like. I will say this hot dog's huge. It's an Nathan's though. Very good. All right, so now the score is four to zero. We're gonna go find a grilled cheese, also Dippin' Dots. We're gonna go ahead and look at the team store because I didn't know it had all of the stuff in here. Baseballs, ton of hats. Hats, shirts on the wall over here. Shirts, bobbleheads, foam hands. Pretty neat little store. I think we just missed a home run. Dang. We always do that when we leave. Always. Something exciting always happens. Missed a home run. I just read on the app that the grilled cheese place over in section 138 is closed. The other one is at center field where the Budweiser's at. And unfortunately, that's gonna be too far to walk. I'll try to get through the crowd, so I'm just gonna stick to over here. Just for crowd level, it definitely gets way, way, way more crowded as the game goes on. There's a lot of people out here now. So at Papa John's, they have a small popcorn, which isn't the souvenir helmet, because has extra money and a pretzel. I think those are the two things I'm gonna get, and then Timber's gonna get uh, Dippin' Dots. So they actually ran out of pretzels while I was up there. So I did the uh, small popcorn and nachos, and that was $16. We're gonna hold off on the Dippin' Dots because there was a pretty big line. And it looks like the score is one to five. Here's the nachos, and here's the small popcorn. Just kind of learning the stadium and over there at the Budweiser porch, that's where the grilled cheese is at. And it looks like you can actually walk at the very top, just all the way over to it from here. You don't actually have to go out in the hallway or down the stairs, you can just walk to it right there. the top of the sixth and Cardinals have guy on second guy on first and no out bases are loaded this could get pretty interesting grand slam here we will have a tight game and the sole homer so far, up to bat. Wow. It is now three to five. Hopefully the line won't be long since the game's getting really interesting. I'm gonna go get Timber some Dippin' Dots, which is right here. Just watching the TV and it looks like they just got a double play. So now they have two outs and the bases were loaded. Now there's only a guy on third. We're gonna do the cookies and cream in a helmet. And there's the mini helmets over there, $8.99. It looks like Adam is pitching. I just missed it, but they made a catch into the wall to end the inning. Now it's the bottom of the sixth. Here's our little helmet dipping dots. Oh, wow. What a play. They just scored. We have a guy on second and first and just scored. It is now six to three. Okay, St. Louis 
the Cardinals are challenging that last play. He didn't get hit. He didn't get tagged at all. No, nope, he didn't get he didn't get hit. Every time he ran, though, his helmet flew off. That's pretty funny. Something that amazes me is how in the world do you make a stadium like this? That's unreal. That makes it very interesting. Bases are loaded, zero out. He must have thought there were two outs. That was... He thought the inning was over. The score is now seven to three. Guy on third and second. Two outs. I don't think I've ever been to a baseball game where there were eight runs scored. It's normally like one to two or zero to one, but that's a tough throw to make. Stealing. Let's see. It's time for the seventh inning stretch. Might as well get our stretch on here. Look at that ceiling. Also, it is bottom of the seven, and it is 11 runs. It's only the bottom, the bottom of the seven. Almost 10 o'clock. Wow. Also 16 hits. This is a game to come to. A lot of action. Try to get that last out on replay. The pitcher just caught it. That was un unreal. Look at that. So now it's the bottom of the eighth. Lots and lots of people are leaving. No way, I think Molina's pitching.
crazy is he's doing better than the other, <laughs> other pitchers. <laughs> what did you just say? Two outs, all he needs is one more. This is awesome. This is one of the best games I've ever been to. You're gonna be able to see it. No, this is. That was by far one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I just wish pool holes would have made. Maybe he'll bat. You never know. Uh, that's 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 the thing that would be great if he would bat. But that was pretty unreal. There is one out, so two more outs, and this game's over. Yes. Two strikes down to the last one. Eighteen hits, eleven runs. I mean, the Cardinals had eight hits and three runs, so that's that's a very productive, exciting game. Like I said before, normally I come to a game and it's one to two. Autographs and photos down there. I'm actually gonna make my way a little closer to see if any any action happens down here. Check this out. These would be great seats. Wouldn't that be something if pools came out of here, out of nowhere? These would be pretty unbelievable seats. All right, they said no one else was coming out, so I think we'll head towards the exit now that the stadium's basically completely empty. All right, heading out of Tropicana Field. Right out to where we parked. Holy smokes, our first time at Tropicana Field. Honestly, I almost want to say like one and done because I don't think it can get any better than that. Uh. We will be back though. A couple cool things. Didn't think I'd get to see Molina or Pujols. I definitely didn't think we would see Molina pitch. That was fantastic. Never in my life would I ever have thought I would have saw that. I'm not really a baseball fan or a St. Louis Cardinals fan, but it was cool to cool. watch. Everybody was cheering for him. Um, I have seen Pujols play. I've seen Molina play. I've, never, seen, him I've seen him pitch. That is unreal. The stadium's awesome. The game was fun. I've never seen 11 runs. It's normally like one Neither. to two. <laughs> Her first game was a, was a doozy. Um, it was great. I have no complaints. I loved it. Uh, I was the Dippin' Dots. You like the Dippin' Dots? You got a little souvenir yeah. souvenir hat you could wear like all the other people were doing. So, all right. Again, loved it. That being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.